What is up guys? My name is Thaddeus and right now I am actually in Hollywood. I think that's what the snapchat filter says. I don't know. Woo! Sunset up uh, in this video. I went like you know I'm always dropping content for you guys content no matter where I am I'll Just like give you guys like a little checklist because a lot of you I, again I get so many DMS I don't get to respond to everyone But like I, I always try and scroll through them daily at least and just see what everyone's kind of like saying just kind of gauge uh, gauge get what the Trying to determine what most people are interested in or what they want to know right and one thing I've come to conclude is like a lot of people just want to know like everything they should do before they go live or like kind of like a startup Checklist right that, that's what I've like created for you guys. That's what I have <laughs> link in the description It's free, but I want to go over that with you guys and just kind of discuss like everything you should do um, to be prepared to scale and just to launch like good, like like not like like launch professionally, so you actually look good, your brand looks good, um, and everything's kind of like running smoothly, right? So that's what we're gonna do, and that's what we're gonna get into. So let's go do it. All right, there uh, there was an AC on, and I hope that didn't fuck up the audio. This is a new camera, guys. Let me know what you think about the camera. I usually film with this fat motherfucker right here, um, but I got like a vlogging camera. Why a vlogging camera? I don't know. Shit's going down. Stuff is happening. Okay, so first thing we want to do is. With your site, you want to make sure, or you want to like double check that you've added all the actual like sales channels you want to include on your Shopify site, right? Just for some insight, I had 60% of my sales come through Shopify payments, okay? 60%. 30% came from PayPal. 10% were other, the Shopify like buy button, Amazon payments, that kind of stuff, right? So like, you, I just burped, I'm so sorry. But what you want to do is you want to like, like always include as many as you want or as many as you're comfortable with using. Um, like I myself wasn't even that comfortable with Amazon payments, but I did it anyways. And like, look, 10% of my sales came from that. Like customers feel safer paying through like gateways that they themselves use or they're like they're comfortable with, right? So uh, like obviously like having as many as you want um, or that you can actually use um, is good. It's good. So that, that's, that's one thing, all right? Now the next one is like this should, this should be like, oh. This should be like a standard, all right? You guys need to launch with a custom domain. Don't launch with like my 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 clothing dot my shopify dot com. Like, don't do that. It's not professional. Um, it it damages your brand. Like, if if you, even if you don't think about that, like people go to your site and they're like, oh, they they're not even like a, an actual like company. That's what they think. Okay, that's what they think. They don't think you're a company. They just think you're like some random person listing products online selling them, which you are, which I am. Uh, but you don't want them to think that, right? So <laughs> that's what you do. Get a custom domain. Um, you know, GoDaddy, you can buy them through Shopify as well. Again, like, this is all in a giant PDF in the link description if you just want to, like, skip the whole fucking video. Like, I don't know, saves you time, I guess. No, no, stay, stay, stay. I gotta get that view time up, bro. But next one, double check your payment gateway setup, right? I've literally had multiple people tell me, like, yo, I had 120 add to carts, but no one purchased. And I was like, okay, uh, that's terrible, first of all. But I look at their site. And I can't even like proceed to check out. Like they didn't actually go through and look at their own site and make sure that someone could actually buy a product. That's not good, okay? <laughs> that's simple, but you guys wanna make sure that like that's that's there and that's that's happening, alright? Next thing you wanna do, like I got I got I got notes here, bro. Uh, next thing you wanna do is make the standard like go to like pages that should be on your site always like the about us page that's that's a that's a little optional um depending on how you're leveraging your brand but like a contact us page um should be there and um, a shipping page right contact us and shipping pages those should 100 percent be there for every single job streaming site you make all right next one is <laughs> i'm looking at <laughs> looking at my notes um um um, um. customize your email no, no, oh, okay this next one all right you want to customize your emails um, that customers get like after they purchase something or um, just for any any type of thing So you go to Shopify you go like notifications you adjust those emails to like fit your brand um, Dude, I look good man. This lighting is like oh my hair's a little messed up, but that's okay um, You want to customize your email notification settings to like fit your brand So if someone orders the orders a product right for one of my sites We we did like trendy deals and we leveraged it as like, you know, they're, they're shopping like a gold mine um, Of like trends and stuff so like when they order they'd be like hey You just got your little nugget of gold or like it was something like that, right? So again you want to just customize your emails to kind of like fit your brand or like what you're trying to do. Have that like continuity of like brand presence throughout your throughout your store. All right. <laughs> Next one, guys. Professional emails. This is one that like 90% of like Shopify people don't actually do. Right. They'll launch their site and they'll have an email called like myjewelry at gmail.com. And it's not professional, like it, it works, but like it's not professional, right? And if you really want that brand continuity throughout your entire site and just your entire brand and all, like you want a professional email, right? And then um, I use like Gmail for business. It's like $5 a month for an email and you get like extra storage and stuff. So like that's like a no brainer. Um, <clears throat> so you can go sign up for that. Um, again, every, like literally everything that you need to know is in the 
in the in, in the PDF. Right down there. All right, next one up is you need to audit your freaking website, guys. Like, I've seen a lot of websites that people ask me to check out, and I go there, and the first thing I notice is like their grammar or like what 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 they're saying is not right. Like, if you can't even talk English, or <laughs> talk English, guys. If you can't like professionally, like I feel like I need to like I need to like actually learn how to like speak. English. Um, if you can't, if you can't, I don't know what am I trying to say. Word your site properly and like correctly, it's gonna come off very cheap, very cheap and you'll probably seem like foreign. And if you are foreign and you're targeting like the US, like your site's like all in English and stuff like that, you really need to make sure that like what your phrases, your descriptions, your product names,